This is a statement to Parliament on the rising prices of fuel in Uganda. Colleagues are aware of the system that we go through, the open tender system in Kenya, where at times Kenya chooses to allocate products destined to Uganda to their own local companies. So we want to come out of this. And uh, I will bring an amendment of the Petroleum Supply Act to support the Uganda National Oil Company in this endeavor next week. In summary, I am saying that the law I am bringing, which is going to be a, a bill amending the Petroleum Supply Act of 2003, which cabinet has passed this Monday, the president sent me to talk to President Ruto about this new policy directive. At first you say that uh, Uganda is operating a liberalized economy. And then later we are creating a monopoly. Perhaps you explain to us further as to how the tool work. It is sad to note that Uganda is at the mercy of Kenyan importers. The question I have to the minister is, what is it that is making it difficult for UNOC to become an importer? The things are very different. And as national leaders, we need to look at these things globally and be honest to ourselves and our country. Otherwise, you are going to hang some of these uh, colleagues of ours, ministers, uh, 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 for no good reason. Some of the things are over and above their uh, controls. If this requires us amending the Petroleum Supply Act, and you are saying by January 2024, UNOC will be having uh, that duty, we have only two months. Okay? So uh, I'm, I'm looking at how feasible it is for you, for you to bring a law. It takes 45 days in a committee. We debate it here. We have been sending bills to the president. We know how long it takes to assent. Okay? So time. I'm only saying uh, this because of time.